Welcome back to the Rio Grande Valley once again. Now you're a part of the Nike uh, Skills Basketball Camp. Just how does it feel coming out teaching the youth a little bit about the game and some of the stuff that you went went through as the Viper season progressed for you last year? Um, I think it's an amazing opportunity to come show the kids what it takes to get to where I am today. And uh, as far as the season, like I said, it was a learning experience for me. It was my first year in the G League, and I was happy to have done my first year in Rio Grande Valley, I learned a lot, and it's only going to get better from here. Absolutely, and you, you played overseas in your first professional year. How was that like and compared to playing here with the Vipers? And what did you kind of took, what did you take from over there that you adapted over here that you want to continue to grow on for year number two here in the United States or going overseas now? Oh, with overseas, I had a lot of confidence because overseas is different than playing in the States. I mean, overseas, if you're an American go overseas, you're, you're the man. But when you come to the States, it's a lot of people who are already the man, and you have to fit in the rotation and, you know, learn your role. So, I mean, I'm learning to learn my role, and I, I just got to bring that confidence I had overseas and bring it to the States. Absolutely, and you... Hung out with a lot of the team veterans like Ray Spaulding. What, what were some of the things that he taught you as the season progressed? And also with Sean Osius, who's also here today. Well, what did you kind of learn from those older guys that have already been through the grind of a G League schedule? Well, what were some of those things you learned now that you're being able to grow as a professional now? Um, basically, keeping my composure and not letting it get to me. And if I have like problems, don't let it show. Like... It's gonna be ups and downs. You just gotta keep moving forward and and don't let the up, don't let the downs stop you from working out or stop you from getting in the gym. So just keep working. Your time gonna come, and when your time do, you need to be ready to play. Just be patient. There were times at, at points during the season where you had a lot of, of growth in your game throughout the season. What was that like for you, uh, knowing that you were part of the rotation and that you were able to provide a lot of key minutes? down that stretch and even key buckets down, down those stretches. It was an amazing feeling because, like, you, as they say, hard work pays off. But to see it, like, right in front of your eyes, it's like a dream come true because I never thought I'd make it this far. And now I'm here doing what I love to do. It's just an amazing feeling. Hundreds of kids out here today. Well, what are they looking up? They're looking up to you. And what are some of the things that they ask you, you know, now that they're at a young age? where they want to continue just playing basketball, what's some of the things that they commonly ask you? Um, they ask me, is it fun? And, I mean, I love hearing that because, you know, when I was a little kid looking up to professional basketball player, it was all fun and games. It was all fun. And with fun, you always going to have a love for the game. So when you stop having fun, you lose the love for the game. So I'm just glad to see the kids here having fun with each other, interacting with each other. And it's only going to grow. They're young, and they're still growing, and their love for the game is going to probably be bigger than mine's world. All right. Well, thank you so much, and thanks for coming down. No problem. Thanks for having me.